The final Aleph is in verse 8, completing the eight uses of Aleph in the acrostic here, using the Hebrew alphabet to begin a particular verse. So it says, Et chukecha eshmur. And notice et is the sign of the direct object. Chukecha is from chok again, which means uh, that which is engraved, statue. And, and notice it, it's now going into the plural construct. It changes from that O vowel to the kibbutz and the doubling of the kof in the plural form here, chukecha. And the ha is your pronominal suffix, second masculine singular. I uh, will observe, I will observe your statute. And eshmor is just your cow imperfect first person singular from shamar. And then, oh, do not forsake me utterly. I will observe your statutes. And so, do not abandon me. Ad ma'od, or literally, unto that which is increase, or we could say utterly. Do not forsake me utterly. He does not want to sin and be abandoned by disobeying the Lord's statutes from the Lord's very uh, presence and goodwill in his life. And so, al is the negative participle, or excuse me, the negative particle meaning not, do not, ta'azveni, abandon me. And the root is azav, and it's just your cal imperfect second masculine singular from azav with the pronominal suffix, first person singular in the, in the e. And notice the noon here is like a hinge. A need to get to the final uh, first person singular pronominal suffix. So do not abandon me utterly would be a good way to render uh, this uh, ad ma'od. So he wants the Lord to always be taking care of him. And I'm reminded in the New Testament that we're told in Jesus Christ that nothing can ever sever us from the love of God, which is in Jesus Christ. And our goal in life should be to fulfill His will in all of these areas, to walk in His instruction, to keep His testimonies, and seek Him with all of our heart. To do what is righteous rather than what is unrighteous and walk in His righteous ways. To observe diligently all of His particular precepts for us and to keep those engraved commandments, those permanent commandments, to continue to keep them with every part of our being. And then we can know that we will not need to be ashamed for we have regard. We're constantly looking to fulfill His commandments. And we can give thanks to the Lord with an upright heart when we learn His righteous commandments and how we're to deal with others according to His will and do it. And so He's determined And that should be our determination, that I will observe your permanent statutes forever. And so, please, never abandon me. And we can be assured that he will never abandon us when we love as Christians. Seen in the New Testament, the Lord Jesus, with all of our heart, soul, and mind, and want to serve him and faithfully do what he has asked us to do.